Belarus dictator Lukashenko, widely seen as Putin's puppet, says it would be unacceptable for nukes to be used in Ukraine. Here's a summary of the article. Belarus's authoritarian leader Alexander Lukashenko in a new interview with the Associated Press said he opposed the use of nuclear weapons in the Ukraine war. Lukashenko also seemed to express impatience with the duration of the Ukraine conflict, which Belarus has helped Russia carry out, in his interview with the Associated Press. Lukashenko has been Putin's closest ally amid Russia's unprovoked war in Ukraine, and under his leadership Belarus has served as a launching pad for the conflict. Russian troops in Belarus were permitted to cross its border into Ukraine, and wounded Russian soldiers have been treated in Belarusian hospitals. We see Belarus as deeply tied to the outcome in Ukraine. It is among the many reasons that what happens in Ukraine is going to reverberate well beyond its own borders, Julie Fisher, U.S. Special Envoy for Belarus, recently told Foreign Policy, adding, it is an immediate and direct link when it comes to Belarus. Lukashenko has relied heavily on the Kremlin's economic and political backing to stay in power, and Moscow has offered this support because it views Belarus as an important barrier between Russia and countries that are part of the EU and NATO. In the Associated Press interview, Lukashenko referred to Putin as his big brother, boasting that the Russian leader doesn't have closer, more open or friendlier relations with any of the world leaders other than the president of Belarus. The U.S. wants to seize the moment tying its allies to itself, and drown Russia in the war with Ukraine. It's their goal, to sort out Russia, and then China, Lukashenko said. This post received a score of 16,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. And the reasons he gives as a Ukraine is too close to Belarus, apparently otherwise it would be fine, and b it could deorbit the earth, and we would fly who knows where. Smiley face. Wait. He said that? He said that thing about sending earth flying? It isn't made up? Is he that smooth-brained? A eh, whatever. At this point, I'll take his rejection of nukes. My god, he actually did. Maybe he meant his own personal terrestrial balls? Big guy just looked at a map and realized where Ukraine is. Hey. Bro, does the wind ever blow this way? It does? Okay, I'll draft a statement. Putin, nah bro just build a giant fan you'll be fine. I mean, he already is Putin's biggest fan. Third biggest fan, behind Trump. He remembers Chernobyl. Yeah, the Russians who came back to Belarus from there all got radiation poisoning. More like their country was covered in radioactive ash plume from a meltdown a few kilometers from their border. How the hell was Russia barely covered? Were the winds blowing west? No. The world is lucky they weren't. It would have been much worse. He must have eaten a bowl of courage this morning. He's making a few comments lately that will annoy his master. He plays a constant game of swaying between the west and Russia. Pull some shit that annoys the west to flex your strength and try to provoke some sort of appeasement from the west. Then buddy up a bit with the West and make Putin acknowledge you're not completely in his pocket and provoke some appeasement from him. That and he provides a nice buffer and creates a source of problems for the West that isn't directly tied to the Kremlin. Lukashenko, it is also unacceptable because it might knock a terrestrial ball flying off the orbit to who knows where. Luka, Luka, Luka. That's not how that works. You got the apocalyptic scenario. Right, just not how nuclear weapons would actually cause it. I'm okay for him to believe that since I like the outcome of not using nukes ever. The fact he has to say this, multiple times, emphatically, in public, while contradicting Putin, sort of has me worried about the reason he feels compelled to do this. Between that and Russian broadcasters telling us, everyone dies in the end anyway, it's been an unsettling week. Keep in mind this isn't being rehashed on by a reasonably legit but still clickbaity news source. Asking a question and getting an answer does not an increased threat make. U.S. officials continue to see no cause for immediate alarm, nuclear warheads aren't being loaded onto missiles or subs, and the war continues dragging on and on. This rhetoric is designed to scare now ambivalent Westerners, namely those in the Americas with the big boom booms and war chests, who have largely forgotten about Ukraine into remembering Ukraine and telling their electeds to cut off support. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.